If you need to store transparency with a graphic, the alpha channel is key. Let's go ahead and explore how we can create the alpha channel as well as embed it into a specialized file type. These files can then be brought into motion graphics or nonlinear editing applications where they should key in real time. Let's explore how. I've gone ahead and opened up the Paper Tears document from the Chapter folder. If you don't find it, just take a look inside the Essentials folder and then open up the Alpha Channel's Essentials and it's right there. Now, we're going to use this as an opportunity to create an Alpha Channel for use in a video program. This document contains several layers and I've gone ahead and extracted some of these objects to their own layer. All we need to do now is turn off anything not needed in the final document, which includes that title safe grid and the background. If I'd like, I can add a slight drop shadow to this paper to make it a little easier to read. I just added a layer style by clicking the FX at the bottom down there, and we can go ahead and put that shadow on there. There we go. Click OK. And this is in good shape. We can now save this for the video editing program. Now essentially what's happening is we want to create a alpha channel that respects this edge and the drop shadow. The easiest way to do that is to make a new layer, put that up at the top, hold down the option key and choose layer merge visible. And that merges all the layers to that target layer. You can then hold down command on a Mac or control on a PC and click the thumbnail to load it. Throw that away go to channels and click the create new channel from selection icon. There we go. Save the selection as a channel and there we have the alpha channel. At this point to get a nice clean black around the edges we'll just turn that black background back on and that'll help darken the shadow down and all the transparency will be cut by the alpha channel here. It's then simply a matter of choosing save as and outputting this as a format that supports alpha channels. The most popular ones are going to be TIFF, TARGA, or PICT. Make sure the Alpha Channels box is checked and you can just save that out and it's ready to go. What happens if you want that to be faster? Well, if you have a clean layered image here with everything extracted as you need it, you could just go to the Actions palette here. And if you don't see the video actions in your Actions palette, just come over and click on the submenu here and pick video actions from the list. You have two alpha channel actions included in that set. One says from visible layers and the other says from visible layers inverted which is how Avid editing systems interpret their alpha channels. You could select that and just click the play button and it will go ahead and convert that. There we go. Let's close that. You're saying what happened? Well if I look over here sure enough there's the alpha channel that created it. I could throw that away if I need to and let's run that one more time. Alpha channel from visible layers, go. Continue. And what it just did there is it quickly ran all the steps for us and automated the process of creating the alpha channel. That document can be saved and you're all set. You've got an embedded alpha channel for use in a video editing program.